Alright guys, welcome back to part two of the achievement walking grid, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's level up with this this little hoe wearing a crown. Let's get a couple levels in before we head to the next area. Unneeded honestly at this point, but might as well. Go to 20 strength, 15 endurance, and might as well go 15 bigger. to Dark Souls 2. Alright, I'm going to sit at this bonfire, and now we're going to travel to the High Wall of Lothric. This should be fun, because this place takes forever, and the first time I tried recording it, I had five different cuts I had to do because I died so much. Not very good in the beginning of the game when I have a weak weapon. But as soon as we get that young yon machete, boy, I ought to whoop some butt. All right. Let's go through this door. Now, we're going to skip a bunch of stuff in this area. If you want to explore and collect items, feel free. Um, personally, I'm not doing that. So, have fun if you decide to do that. Um... There's a lot of areas you can go to. Not something I'll be covering in my achievement, babe. We're gonna come here. This guy's gonna attack us. We're gonna kill him. Now, we wanna sprint over here. This guy, well, he's probably too late, but he wakes everybody up. Um, those guys that are usually praying, they uh, don't attack you, typically, but um, if you attack them, they will. I'm Pretty sure attack with like a broken straight sword or something. We killed that guy. Next thing we're gonna do is hop down here. Slide down into your DMs. Grab that. Okay. Step on this guy. Boom! Boom! Goes the dynamite. Alright, so these guys you can try fighting. I'm not going to. I feel it's a waste of time. If you're inexperienced and can't roll past enemies, well, you should probably fight them. There is a dragon that comes in. I don't know if he comes in right there or uh, later when you get to the bonfire area. But he blows fire onto the ground and it kind of makes that pathway harder to get through. So we just sprinted past everything right there. Um, hopefully they don't come up here. We're going to rest of this bonfire. Oh, no. See, something's coming up. So we're going to wait till we're able to rest of the bonfire. Hopefully they don't come up here. Alright, sweet. So we're resting there. Um, we're going to go get the key to Grey Rat Cell and also an Estus Shard. Um, that'll help us get another Estus, and we need a free Grey Rat to get a ring, as well as to have him as a merchant later. I don't think we'll be using him as a merchant, but, um, it'd be nice to have. So we just dropped down there, and we ran out the building. We're skipping everything here. Now, this guy transforms into an Abyss. Um, you can kill him if you're quick enough. Um, but if you're not, you can just walk past him, behind him come here to this crystal lizard we want to kill this crystal lizard because it's going to give us a gem um, that we would otherwise get later in the game so we want that raw gem that's towards an achievement next thing we're doing is you can drop down on the awning or descend down the ladder I'm just going to descend and we're going to go straight there's stuff to the left but we don't need that might come back and get it on the way back but Tell me if I'm feeling generous. And I'm trying. And, okay. Oh my god. I'm trapped again. Oh, you want to watch out for those. Those. Where I could have gotten a frontal stab right there. Jesus! Woo! Backstab, backstab. Nope. 
Come on, boy. Bring it. Woo. Better than Michael Jackson after he got his IV, boy. Don't mind my jokes, they suck. Alright. Oh, my sign's not there anymore. Alright. We're gonna come left right here. Kill this guy. I said be wary of left. Or we might as well pick up the side of him since it's right here. Let's see. Do we wanna go that way? We're gonna go up there. Yeah, that's the next area. Alright, so we're gonna walk down here. Come around this way. But not worry about those enemies just yet. There is an enemy there that I can't even forgot about. He is not dead. Okay, we're gonna kill him. And this enemy. Now, instead of dropping down and getting the gangbang, um, we're gonna come this way to take on these enemies. We're gonna try to lure them one by one, but it may not be feasible. Alright, as long as we get the dog out of here, things are annoying. Really? Really? This is worse than the new Call of Duties. Got him. Get this guy. He's dead. Now we have one more of these axe guys and then we have a spear guy. The axe guys are more of the pain. Let's take care of him first. Hopefully his buddy doesn't attack us. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Like a dumpster baby. Oh, I might die. Okay, I need a heal. And I need to heal again. What is going on here? I need to learn how to dodge properly. Alright, take this boy on now. Alright, so we're gonna come in here and get this. It's unnecessary, but... Might as well get as much upgrade materials as possible. This will be an Estus Shard. We'll be using this for an achievement and to have more Estus. What can go wrong with more healing potions? I'm gonna kill this dog. Obviously not in one kill sweep. And we are getting this cell key to free Grey Rat. Now we're gonna head back up to the bonfire. Um, you don't need to sit at the bonfire, but... I'm going to because I cannot dodge enemies and I lost all my Estus. So we're going to head back out here. We're not going to get the items in there. Feel free if you want. There's a couple ambushes up there, but no big deal. It's like two or three enemies that ambush you. They're fairly easy to take out. Go back up the ladder. Um, we're coming back over here. I'm going to kill these enemies so they don't follow us. Alright, now we're going to climb back up the ladder. Again, and again, and again. Do a little jump for joy. Throw this guy to climb on. Freaking Charles Manson up in this. We're going to try to ignore this guy. He's probably going to follow us up. Just a warning, but we're going to sit down as soon as we can. Alright, sweet. So now that we're rested at the bonfire, we're going to drop down again like we were going outside. Hello, Hanzo of Naruto. Dick. Trying to freaking kill people. Alright. So we're going to drop down here, and then we're going to drop down again. There's going to be a big enemy. Uh, we will have to kill him. Not really, but, I mean, he's going to follow you, so, and do damage like that. Take care of him. Alright, he's down. Now there's going to be an enemy to the right and an enemy ahead. I believe there's an enemy to the right. No, there's not. Okay. Yes, there is! That is someone that followed us. Okay. <laughs> oh! I got a kick. I don't even know how to do those. It just happens randomly. That was dumb. I should have rolled. There's going to be an enemy to the left of us. We want to take care of him. Now we're gonna grab this item. Don't need it. Just it's right there, so might as well. Coming down to this cell, and we're gonna free Grey Rat. 
We're gonna exhaust his dialogue to get the ring. But like I said in the previous video, I'm not going to do, um, listen to all the dialogue. We're gonna grant his request, which we'll later finish in, um, I believe episode three, we'll be able to. We're gonna come back up here and let's see what, what, what we have to do next. All right, so we're gonna rest at the bonfire once more. Um, solely because we're going to go into another area, and I don't believe there's another bonfire. So, just to refill, you know, precautions. Um, if there's an, if there's a, another player up here with a white summon sign, I'm going to wind up summoning him. Um, if you're playing offline or doing this years from now, um, don't worry about it. That next area is not too hard. I'm just going to use them to take care of, uh, enemies that I don't want to. So we're going to be getting one more ring. Uh, we're going to kill a guard who is controlled by the Abyss. And then we're going to talk to Emma for to get our first covenant and another achievement. And then we're going to kill the boss. So we're going to summon this guy. He can wave all he wants when he spawns in, but I'm not going to be there. And drop down. Come back out here. Now, the enemies are going to res respawn. I think they are, yeah. They're going to be respawned because we rested at the bonfire. Alright, so this time I'm going to drop on the awning. Just fall down. Okay, so we're going to grab this item while we're waiting for this guy to patrol. There's going to be an awning right here. You just want to drop down real quick. And when he gets about midway to that item over there, which is an ember by the way. We're going to come over here. Get that ember. And now we're going to make or break for it. So we're going to come up here to the right. There's going to be an enemy. Take care of him. Oh, and j by the way, just ahead, that's a shortcut um, if you're exploring the area. So there's going to be a lot of enemies there, though, so be cautious. So we're going to pick up that item. Now, that is the ring we want. I don't believe it's necessary towards the achievement, but we're going to grab it anyways because they are useful rings. So you're just going to run and jump. Grab it, fall into this awning, fall to the ground. Again, we're gonna run. All right, so we're gonna be out here. We'll be using this summon. Um, actually, maybe not. We might not be using that for the boss battle because the the more um the more NPCs you have or players you have, the more difficult the area gets, um, especially for bosses. So I'm experienced with this game. I don't need that many people. I still like to have people in the boss battle just to make it more simpler for me and the guide. But for now, I'm not gonna summon that many. So we're gonna talk to this lady. Her name is Emma. Um, we're gonna exhaust her dialogue and get this small Lothric banner. We're gonna be using that after the boss battle. Now we're gonna talk to her again and get our first covenant way of blue and that's going to be our fourth achievement i believe we're going to go to our achievements covenant way of blue now we're going to come out here we're going to wait for these guys to um if they're not up here then we're good okay so they're down there we're going to take a hard right before they come back up here and notice us and we're going to kill this guy to get a gem completely unnecessary if uh if you already have this gem and are watching this playthrough, but we're gonna kill him. So, a few swipes in. I think you can get a backstab, I just wasn't good enough to do that. So, when a enemy has red eyes like that, or black sludge or smoke surrounding them, they're controlled by the abyss. You wanna watch out for that attack. And that attack. Please don't kill me again. Alright, our help's coming in. Woo. All right, sweet. So we killed him. Now we got a refined gem. Elite Knight, welcome to YouTube. I don't have very many subscribers, but uh, congratulations, you made it, man. All right, so we're going to come down here. We're going to go to the boss battle now. How I have three Estus Flask still, I don't know. 
thought I used just two of them right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, dude, don't kill me. Come on. Oh, jeez, bro. <laughs> Why are you chasing me? Heal. Come on. Dude, how? Kill him. Thank you. All right, he's dead. Now, if you're playing offline or don't want to summon a player, summon Swordmaster. He's pretty good. He's the guy we killed earlier um, and the one I said you could get a summon from. But now we're going to take on the boss. What we're going to do is head on to this door. And the cutscene should activate. Remember, I'm not going to be watching the cutscene. So I press start to skip it. And now we are facing Vort of the Boreal Valley. Uh, the weird spawn in. Through this boss, um, he does do a few swiping attacks, and in his second state, he gets quicker. So you want to be cautious of that. Remember, I have another player in, so I'm going to be doing uh, less damage, or he has more health, per se. Right. So those quick attacks are pretty deadly. You want to watch out for them. And I only have one Estus flash, so I got to be cautious. You can always go back to the bonfire and heal if uh, you want to get full Estus again. So he's dead, and now I'm stuck with a um, damage modifier to where I'm doing less damage. Ooh, okay. I'm not expecting that. That's why I prefer to summon NPCs. They last a little bit longer, depending on what boss you're facing. Um, if you know how to maneuver the boss. So I gotta be pretty cautious here, because I'm out of S's. Now he's in a second state, he's gonna be extremely fast. And he's just gonna go on a rampage. Like, you stole my woman, I'm gonna beat your ass, boy. I'm gonna watch out for this ice breath. If you hits on him, remember not to exhaust your stamina. Alright. We'll watch out for his attacks now. That didn't any damage. Okay, you gotta be very careful now! <laughs> Oh jeez, hopefully I don't die. No! Oh! Okay, I'm gonna cut to uh, when I beat him. Alright guys, we beat him. So... Um, if you look at my health and my Estus, I was kind of freaking out at the end. Um, not a, not a cool thing to do. So, uh, yeah, almost died. I got lucky because he did his quick charge attack, and then he did his, like, ice breath. Um, because that, that fool be chewing a lot of gum and stuff, so we got icy breath. Um, but yeah, I got lucky. He paused for a second to do that, and I got a, my last couple hits in. Um, alright, so now we're gonna raise this banner. Watch the beginning part of this cutscene so I can make a very dumb joke. And then we're gonna skip to the next bonfire by skipping the cutscene. So these guys, they're crawling up with their little devilish hands and stuff. Wait for it. Boom! Look at them. They just got done getting their red wings. They love their girl every day of the month. Like a real man. Alright, we're skipping it. I'm gonna light this bonfire. And guys, we're going to call that an episode. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, please like the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you want more content. I have other series coming on. Um, and I really appreciate you viewing this video. Thank you. Goodbye.